<clears throat> it was a hundred degrees in the shade. I walked for five days with no water. Then I saw it. A pretty pond. I bent down to take a drink when these crocs launched out of the water. One croc bit me on the face. Ain't no way I wasn't at supper. Except for one thing. I wasn't ready for dying that day. <laughs> I bit one croc in half, tail whipped the other, and the last one, well, I drowned that croc in my own blood. Dungeons and Dragons, T-Rex, or Tyrannosaurus Rex, to be specific. It does, however, say T-Rex on there. I looked them up. I'm not. It doesn't say. Again, this is. Let me. Let me back up. This is the Wiz Kids, T-Rex, Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures, Dungeons and Dragons, T-Rex. Primed and ready to paint. It cost me $12.99. It's larger than my other ones that I've done. So you kind of see, I'll take it out of the box. Try not to get any glare on it. The paint job on the back is like this red, this red color, almost like, um, kind of reminds me of devil dinosaur. Pinks, purples, reds. But this one obviously is a little different. It lo looks almost more like a juvenile T-Rex, like from the Jurassic Park series than almost a full-size T-Rex, but I don't know. But well, that might be kind of fun. Do something a little brighter. As opposed to the greens, I was gonna do green like Jurassic Park, but maybe I'll do red. And I'll be doing him in the fashion of Devil Dinosaur, I guess. Base, bigger base. Bigger base for a bigger animal. So I don't know, I guess I should put this on first, shouldn't I? So I wasn't expecting the tail to be this tight because, ouch. And these little, these little spikes, these things are sharp, man. Like I'm putting together a NECA figure. So these guys are, this guy's really tight. I wasn't expecting to be this tight. And unfortunately when I'm trying to put on the tail, it only goes on so far. I think I'm gonna sand this down. Cause I'm not sure what the story is with this, but it doesn't want to go on all the way. There's like this goofy little lip. You may or may not be able to see it. Right here. I don't know if that's supposed to be there. It might be like a manufacturing defect. Or it's a lock of sorts. But I don't see, but I don't, I don't think it likes that. I did end up trimming off a pretty good chunk of the, I don't know if you want to call it, it was actually most of this guy that I, I trimmed off. A mixture of sharp blade and some heat. Um, I trimmed it up pretty close and I just glued it together. There's still some some goofy overlapping or in I guess imperfections that don't quite align. So in theory if I want to be perfect I'd either trim that down, sand it, maybe um, maybe even put a filler in there. But I think if I cake it up with enough with, with uh, paint I don't think you're gonna see it anyways. So I think it'll look okay. I got football on. Nothing beats football and painting.
ladies and gentlemen. The Devil Dinosaur is complete. I brought with me my little buddy here. I should probably wear my glasses. Oh, hey. Okay, over there. Hey, little buddy. Buddy is a crested gecko. Say hi, buddy. Buddy wanted to come out for a bit and say hi to introduce you to Devil Dinosaur. Anyways, okay, there he is. Boom. So I did go with the red. And uh, I think it's cool. It looks kind of like the Dungeons and Dragons version, which is fine. It was kind of a long process as I was doing it. I couldn't quite figure out. I have I have a lot of reds, but I don't have a lot of bright reds. So I kind of had to keep layering and layering and layering until it looked kind of like it does now. And I don't think it's going to get much, much redder than it is now. Devil Dinosaur. Jack Kirby. I mean, Jack Kirby. It's Jack Kirby. If you don't know who Jack Kirby is, do your research. Because I'm not going to tell you. Beautiful artwork, Jack Kirby. Highly suggest reading Devil Dinosaur. So there you go, Devil Dinosaur. Hence the inspiration to this guy. Read Devil Dinosaur and let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed the video.